for giving us this opportunity. Can I please ask you, how do you evaluate the human rights situations in Iran? I think that the human rights situation in Iran is absolutely terrible. Uh, in no other remotely civilized country are the kinds and the numbers of executions that take place regularly taking place. Freedom of speech is something that, while we in the West enjoy all the time, is almost unheard of. People quite clearly are unable to speak their minds. The democratic process barely exists at all. So while there are protestations of goodwill, the reality is very, very different indeed. What uh, the President uh, Rouhani is viewed as an uh, a moderate in the West. I think that the current president is regarded as the least worst of the options available, but that is not saying very much. And those of us that take a clear and serious interest in these matters, I think are very concerned indeed that the West appears to be lowering its guard at a time when actually the Middle East in general is becoming more, not less dangerous and the involvement of Iran in Syria is very clear and uh, potentially in the long term very dangerous. What we all want to see, those of us who uh, support democracy in Iran, is the election of a truly democratic government under truly democratic circumstances where the people are free to discuss and vote as they wish and uh, where hopefully the country can then move forward without the fear that exists at the moment. Uh, so Raja, as you know, on the 9th of July, the Iranian resistance has uh, its uh, annual gathering. How do you evaluate uh, that, uh, that gathering in, in Paris? How do you see the effect of this gathering? Sorry. 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 It's, a, it's a very important gathering. Uh, it attracts huge numbers of people and a lot of support. I'm only sorry that I shan't be able to be there myself, but I'm unfortunately engaged elsewhere on parliamentary business. But I, I think it is a, a very, very important occasion and it should send out a very clear signal to the rest of the world that there is a very real concern that has to be addressed. And finally, sir, how do you evaluate the Iranian resistance against the Mullah's regime? I regard the NCRI and its leaders, and particularly Madame Rajavi, as being part of the democratic process, and part of the process that is seeking to bring about uh, not armed resistance, uh, but a democratic change in a country that desperately needs democratic change.